What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on Avengers 4. So yesterday was an awesome day, not just because they wrapped up the Avengers 4 and they did share the cake for it and it's got Thanos on it, which looks pretty awesome. We got the news that Deadpool 2 has been moved forward, so it's now coming out in May, maximum effort. So we did report some images the day before last of some potential time travel scenes and we have got some updated images and some other images to show you. So it looks like Captain America and Tony Stark's beef is not over and they're still going to be going at each other throughout Avengers 3 and 4 because he took Bucky's side. But the most interesting thing that has come out of it is that we see something from Civil War. By nearly augmented retroframing or BARF, God, I got to work on that acronym, an extremely costly method of hijacking the hippocampus to clear traumatic memories. It doesn't change the fact that they never made it to the airport or all the things I did to avoid processing my grief. But. Binary argumented retro framing, which if you remember from Civil War, Tony Stark was demonstrating his mother and father's death, how he could use his technology to deal with trauma. Now it's very interesting because these devices on each of their hand, on Captain America's hand, on Tony Stark's hand, on Ant-Man's hand, etc. Could it be a modified version of this trauma technology when you could see a past event? But has Tony Stark with Stark Industries, has he modified this technology to allow them to physically go back in the past and interact with real life events in the past? Similar to obviously how Barry Allen in DC in The Flash runs back in time and kind of can change events if they want to. Possibly this could be what happened. And if this is the case, it wouldn't be time travel. It would be the binary argumented retro framing that obviously used the same technology that he used at the beginning of Civil War to look at memories. Maybe this could be what's going on here, guys. And that is why we see Captain America with the old suit. Obviously, Captain America with the shield. As we know, Tony Stark currently has the shield. We've also see, seen other images of Thor with the long hair. We see Tony Stark with the, the shield sign, which... Obviously, this is a new suit. This is what he wore before. And possibly, in the scene where we see Doctor Strange, we see Wong in that lot where it looks like he's stopping time. Maybe he's just using this binary technology there as well, as they call it BRF. Maybe they're just using the BRF technology. Um, it's just a concept of theory that I came up with. What do you guys think about the theory? Do you think it's not time travel that they've just somehow changed the kind of programming, the technology, modified it with new technology to be able to interact properly in the past and not just look at life events. It would be interesting if that is the case. And obviously in these images, you do see what's interesting is they have scattered dots all over the places in some of them, then they have other, then they're not on other images. So I think what's going on here is there's two separate linear, oh, not linear, there's two separate scenes being filmed at the same time two different time periods i do think it would be interesting guys would love to hear what you guys think down below would love to hear all your theories any of any video ideas of what you want me to make avengers wise marvel wise dc wise and all that kind of stuff as i love making these kind of videos i just wanted to report report this kind of minor update and as we know maximum effort deadpool 2 has been brought forward to may the 18th this was confirmed by mr ryan reynolds himself which is pretty cool and i can't wait for the next trailer to come out for deadpool 2 obviously now it's been brought forward may is not that far away so may obviously infinity war comes out in america in may Obviously, in this country, it comes out in April. So it comes out May the 18th, which is after Infinity War, which is going to be amazing. We haven't had that many like promotional material for Deadpool 2, but we've had some. So hopefully, we see like Megasonic Warhead and all that kind of stuff in there with the yellow suit. So hopefully, we get a lot more footage in the next trailer for Deadpool 2, which I honestly cannot 
wait for, guys. So, like I said, if you want me to just request some video ideas, what do you think is going on in the scene? Do you think they're using the binary technology? The fact that we have seen it does tell me that we do. So I will be covering Deadpool 2. Obviously, New Mutants being directed by Josh Brolin, I believe it is. Believe it is. That's been pushed back 10 months, so nearly a year backwards. Gambit looks like as being thrown on the back burner because, yes, again, another director has pulled out of the Gambit project. Channing Tatum is still involved with the project, I believe. So that's interesting. A lot of Fox, because obviously Fox is still running their movies until Disney takes over because it will take 12 to 16 months for them to properly take over. So Deadpool 2 is still Fox and New Mutants is still Fox and that kind of stuff until they properly own the company. Obviously an acquisition that big would take multiple months if not years to actually take over as they are kind of being investigated by the government to make sure they're not creating a monopoly and all that kind of stuff. You know big politics are always involved with massive mer takeovers because it's not a merger, they're essentially taking over the whole company. Anyway, guys, like I said before, request some videos, please, as I love making content for you guys. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, comment all your ideas down below. Can't wait to hear what you've got to say. Hit the bell button down below to join Team War Stew, and I will catch you guys in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.